Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Look who I have. I have someone in the house again. Um, a lot of you were saying in the last video that, you know, Salman was not looking very enthusiastic. Um, but it's, it's just the way he is. It's just his, it's just his uh, persona, to be honest with you. But yeah, he's, he's been keeping up to date with the boxing stuff and he's not happy with, this, with the recent events of Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao pulling out. Um, Salman, I'm going to come straight to you. There's been a lot of conspiracy theories. There's been a lot been said. Um, we're not going to get this big fight between Spence and Pacquiao. How bitterly disappointed were you when you heard the news the other day? It's just, you know, it's just stuff's happening right now. Covid, you know, different. You know, I'm not. I wasn't surprised. Obviously disappointed, but I'm not surprised. Um, you know, anything can happen. You know, in boxing. Just one punch can change everything. So wasn't that dis like, I was disappointed, but not you know like something I wasn't expecting. But somehow it was a fight that you were looking forward to, a fight that you said was the biggest fight of the year. The fight fell through, man. The fight. What What, what do you make of people saying that Spence intentionally he's not got he's not got injury and he's faking the injury? What What do you make of that? It's stupid, isn't it? It's just stupid. This is highest payday. Why would he do that? He's obviously got injured. That's why he's pulled out. Doesn't make any sense. That why would he? Why would he? It's just he showed an operation on his eye. He should clearly shown it. It's just people. People, are people, are consp people obviously. People are obviously not very happy. You know, they're not very happy. They think there's a conspiracy. Um, they think there's you know there's more to the story than what's being shown. Yeah, us. people. They, you know, it's just an opinion, isn't it? People are gonna say whatever. Whether you're injured, whether you're not injured, people. Are, there's always gonna be people that just you know just waffle. He's never done that before. So why would he do that now? There's no reason why. But they're it, saying they're protecting him from Pacquiao. But then if he fights him later mm. on in the year, knocks him out, then what they're going to say? Mm. That's how I see it. It's just people just always have an opinion and it's just they're just irrelevant, to be honest. Mm. But Salman, there's a big fight instead of it. Manny Pacquiao v Ugas. You've obviously seen Ugas fight. Who wins this fight between Manny Pacquiao and Ugas? I think Manny Pacquiao will beat him. I think he'll probably get stoppage, to be honest. Um, you rate Ugas? Not really, no. Um, I just think any top guy would beat him, personally. He'd lost to Sean Porter, and Sean Porter loses all the time when he goes to the top, so I can't see him. I can't see him winning, to be honest. Um, it's just, he's just, Pacquiao's just better than him all around. I think he'll get knocked out. You think Pacquiao's gonna, Pacquiao's gonna swarm him with his, with his fast hands and just... Yeah. Yeah, I think one thing, I don't know if you watched the Ugas fight, he gets hit very clean, he gets hit with a lot of shots, defensively not sound. Uh, do you think he's gonna come up a cropper with that against Pacquiao? Yeah, but I believe so. I just think Pacquiao's too fast, too powerful. For someone like that, he's fought many guys like that. It's just going to be target practice, really, in my opinion. Anyways, you thought Pacquiao might beat Spence. Exactly. So with Ugas, I don't really give him, I don't give him a chance. Really, I don't see what he really brings to the table. Um, unless Pacquiao's just gone old, but if he's the same Pacquiao that fought Furman, he's going to win quite comfortably. How do you see? How do you see it going in terms of? Do you think it's going to go the distance? Do you think it's going to? No, I think it's going to be a knockout, seven to eight rounds, seven to ten rounds. We'll knock him out. So you're not giving Ugas much of a chance at I all. I don't. I don't. He's not. I don't really. I don't give him a chance against any top guy. I just think he'll always come up short. Why yeah. do you say that? Because he's he's already done it against Sean Porter. You know, he's he loses. He's yeah, not, but a lot of people thought he won that fight. Let's see then. But I know he's not good enough. If you're not good enough, you're not good enough. And he's not good enough. You know, any top welterweight, everyone knows that if he fights a top guy, Spence, Thurman, any of those guys, that he'll come up, 
he'll be he'll, he'll lose most likely. Yeah, but you he won't be that? the favorite in those fights. Yeah, but it doesn't matter about being the favorite. But you're saying something that he, he a lot of people thought he beat Sean Porter. He didn't get the decision, but they thought he won that fight. But if you if you if you if you're having a tough fight against Sean Porter, then what's going to happen against Manny Pacquiao? Just it's gonna, he's going to get battered. He's going to get battered. So. What do you think happens then, moving forward then, if you think Pacquiao beats Ugas like you expect him to, what's going to happen moving forward? What's Pacquiao's going to be next step? Do you see Pacquiao fighting again? Do you think Pacquiao... Yeah. It's just going to be dispense fight. The guy was injured. Well, what can you... Why not the Crawford do? fight? Because, you know, he's going to clean out the guys in his own stable first. That Crawford fight, that's just all nonsense. He's never going to fight. That's all just rumours and all of that. That was never going to happen. He's not, he's not with, he's going to fight Spence again. Spence will be back, back out by the end of the year, right? And but then, how can Spence be out by the back of the year when he's got a detached retina, according to reports? Yeah, but let's see. But whether it's early next year, it's not going to be Crawford, that's for sure. Um, 100%. He ain't going to fight Crawford. And even if it does, Crawford's going to have to come to PBC, which I can't see him doing. I can't, I can't see that fight happening. So... That fight's just basically uh, Bob, Ar Bob Arum capping, basically, just talking crap, how he always does. That fight was never going to happen. Um, even Spence put that this guy just talks nonsense. He's like, because he knew at that probably point his fight's penciled in with Pacquiao. And then Bob Arum's talking all this nonsense that, oh, this is going to happen. This It was not going to happen. He can't get a big fight. And they just, they just tried to make rumours. Terence Crawford confirmed in a Teddy Atlas podcast that his... His last fight is with Bob Arum. He's only got one fight left. Then he's potentially a free agent. So why can't he get the Manny Pacquiao fight if Spence is out for a long time with his injury? Yeah, so then he needs to move to PBC. He should move. He should buy himself out of his contract. Um, he's not got no one there that he can fight that's decent. right? He's fighting guys at a lower level welterweights. No one wants to see those fights. He's going to have to move. Simple as that. Bob Arum doesn't even want him to be there. Uh, he should just move. He should move, make the fights that the people want to see, come to PBC, you know, where it can actually happen. Although still, even then, I, don't, I think that fight happens all the way at the end that for the undisputed. Um, I just think Spence will collect all the belts from his end. Um, and unless Manny Pacquiao comes in and, you know, beats Spence. Do you think Manny Pacquiao becomes undisputed champion? I think he well possibly can, yeah. Um if he beats Spence, there's no reason why he's not just going to go cl clean out everything. You think he beats Crawford? If he beats Spence, then you've got to realise he's going to be going in with a lot of momentum. And I think so. Why not? You know, when you're going in with that sort of momentum. Do you what... think he beats both Crawford and Spence right now? Pacquiao. I think he can, yeah. I think so. Um, if, he, As I said, if he beats Spence right now, well, whenever he fights Spence and then when he goes on to fight Crawford... He's going to be going in with the psychological edge because he's beaten Thurman and then he would have beaten Spence. Then Crawford, he's going to think, what's Crawford going to bring here? That's going to really trouble me here, you know? Pacquiao can take a good shot, right? I don't think Crawford punches harder than Spence or Thurman, to be honest. Um, he might be a bit more skillful than them, but Pacquiao is also very skillful. Um, so I think, I, think, I think Crawford might struggle. Wow. Salman. I want to get your opinion. There's a big fight tomorrow night. John Rowe Casimero, the Filipino, the guy that's promoted by Manny Pacquiao himself, against someone that you rated very highly back in the day. Guillermo Rigondeaux, the genius from Cuba, the great fighter that was avoided by Carl Frampton, Scott Quigg. Nobody wanted to go near Guillermo Rigondeaux. But Guillermo Rigondeaux, there's reports, and I, I think you told me, I can't remember who, I think it was you or someone told me that he was 50. You know, he might even, he's really old, he's not what is, they say his age is. But, some man, Guillermo Rigondeaux, what a fighter he was in his prime. I personally think he's, he looks really old, to be honest. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets knocked out or if he loses the fight because he's just too old. Um, in his prime, does he beat Casemiro? I think so, yeah. I think so. What did you make of Guillermo Rigondeaux's fight with Lomachenko? Do you think that was a, a, not a fair fight? What do you mean? Not a fair fight. Like, in terms of 
Lomachenko being too big. Yeah, but you know, you you've got to go up and be great. You got to go up and be great. Clearly, he got battered against Lomachenko. That that wasn't even that. Lomachenko was just way better than him. No, um, but the, come on, size played a big part in that fight. But you, the, the smaller guy, Lomachenko ain't gonna meet him at a catch weight. The bigger, the smaller guy has to come up and beat the guy, the bigger guy. That's just how it is, you know. That's just what was what, what, his normal weight. So he's fighting at. Um... 122 so 122 is fine at 118 now so you know yeah it's it's, it's a big jump in it like 120 like it's you know lomachenko was mad lomachenko is fighting at 135 now think about it you know so yeah, what, what, what what was the fight at 130 no i don't know what i think the fight was at 126 i think yeah so whatever but at the end of the day lomachenko beat him you know and it, he just beat him up really and then he quit he just quit. So I don't think he was getting that. He was getting beat up, but not to the extent where I think he could have carried on, to be honest. But Saman, do you it. think Guillermo Rigondeaux tomorrow can bring back his youth tomorrow? Get back and put in one I last... I think win. if it's going his way, then it'll, I think it'll be good. But I think if it gets a bit tough, that's it. It'll probably... Saman, Nonito Donaire, the legend, who's Nonito Donaire... He obviously fought Rigondeaux when they were in their primes and Rigondeaux beat Nanito Donaire. We saw Nanito Donaire push Anoue to the max. We saw Nanito Donaire beat Obali in his last fight. What is to say that Rigondeaux can't sweep back the years and beat a Casemiro? I don't think so, to be honest. Um... You know, he's, he's, he's old now, you know, we're not talking when he was in his prime, you know, we're talking now. So you're saying, so okay, what happens if Rigondeaux fights Nanito Denaire now? I think that guy would win, that Denaire. I think Denaire would beat him now. When, but I don't know when they fought. What about Anoue and Rigondeaux? I think Anoue would win now, he's too young, too fresh, too fast. In their primes? I don't know, I think Rigondeaux could outbox him. Because I, to be fair, like I'm not gonna lie, um, you're not a fan of a new way that. I no, no, I think he's a quality fighter. I think he's a quality fighter, but until he steps in there, until he's, he's gonna have to move yeah, away. Yeah, but he fought, but Denaire. That's one guy, isn't it? It's one guy. You gotta. He's need to fight a lot more fighters. I can't really judge at the minute. So he's it, a you're saying fighter by like from what I've seen, but until he goes up in weight or does something that you, he fight, he has to fight better guys, man. You know, like, he's going to have to move up. He's going to have to move up. So like Lomachenko. Oh, no, but that's too big a jump, man. What about, what about, okay, what about him against the Casemiro? If Casemiro wins, that's a tough fight. Casemiro's a beast. You know, so Casemiro's a guy that's been on a, he's been beating guys up recently, man. So you think a win over Casemiro will, come on. Casemiro wants to fight Nanito Denaire because that's a big fight between two Filipinos. But you don't think that Casemiro would be a good win for Anoue? That would be the guy that you want him to see him fight? Or do you think even Casemiro doesn't cut the buck about how, you want, how great you want to see or how, where you want to see Anoue get At to? the end of the day, it's not Anoue's fault. He can only fight the guys that's, that's in his weight class. Unless, as I said, he's willing to make a stupid move to 130. Which I don't, I don't think... Well, I, what's his weight now? 118? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would be two weight classes? No, it's more than that. It's three. 122, yeah, then, 126. It's one, tough for him, and then he's only going to be able to fight the best that's in his thing. But why can't? So, okay. But none of those guys, none of those guys could go to like 130 or 135 and okay, be champions. But, no, no, but okay, you don't think Anoue could go to 126? There's some, there's some big guys. at 126, though. So there's Kid Galahad, there's, there's Josh Warrington, there's, you know, there's guys like that. Russell, Gary Russell. But it's too small, Salman, man. Anoue is too small for those guys. I wouldn't put my house on it that he beats all of those guys. Um, I think he'll give all those guys trouble, but it'll be tough. It'll be tough for him. Because you've got to realise those guys might will punch a lot harder as well um, than the smaller guys. So mm. it'll be tough for him. Unless, as I said, like he's, he's fast, he's got power, but will his power carry? We don't know because he's never stepped up to a higher weight class. So we don't really know, but... If he wants to be a great, great, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to move up. It's as simple as that. Whether it's to one twenty six, eventually get to. He'll eventually have to go to one because the big fights aren't here really. Once he's fought a couple of these guys, 
then there's not really many, it's not a stacked division where you can say, oh, you can fight this guy, then you can fight that guy. It's a very limited division. Um, it's just the fighters aren't, there's only a few fights and then if he wins those, then what's next? Casemiro knocks out Brigandar? I think so, yeah. I think the guy's too old, to be honest. We don't know what his real age is, so he could be 50, he could be 45, he might be over 50. <laughs> he might be over 50. You know what I mean? But So you think Casemiro blows him out first five, six rounds or goes late? I think it probably, yeah, first five, six rounds. Um, as I said to you, if it's going Rigondeaux's way, he might stick in there for a bit longer. If he starts getting pasted like how he was against Lomachenko, I can see him quitting again. I can see him quit because if he's, if yeah, he's but that, that old... Different. If that was different though, that was, a, that was a guy against a too big, skilled guy. Yeah, but if he gets back, it's regardless, it's, just, it's about the age. You know, if he gets beaten up, if he's getting beaten up, his corner won't be afraid to pull him out. They will pull him out. Um, if he's getting beaten up, he's gonna have to show that he, you know he he's doing something. He's throwing back. He's he's winning the rounds. Otherwise, he'll probably get pulled out because they'll probably think, what's the point? You know, what's the point? You're losing the fight. What what are you in there just to get beaten up? Salman give, giving his take about tomorrow, Manny Pacquiao, Ugas. He's not happy. Of course, that the fight, the fight's off. But guys, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think about what Salman thought. He believes that Casemiro is going to walk through Rigondeaux and he believes Ugas is no match for Manny Pacquiao. Leave your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.